So this is a sample PDF of what we'll create in Word, which will be shapes within shapes and then grouped together. So open a blank document in Word, click Insert, Shapes. Now what I decide to use for a shape, you can do anything you'd like. This is just a sample. So in basic shapes, I'm going to choose a rectangle beveled. And then remember, you just have, you don't have the shape, you have to just draw it. And you have this with this plus sign, which is called a crosshair. And you just hold and drag to as big as you'd like it. And what I'm going to do is build another one inside it. So I can just, it's in recent shapes, so I'll just click it again. And then just start in the corner and again build this same thing. I'm going to do it two more times. So beveled again, draw it inside, and then I'll do one more. And then for inside, I'm going to go to the shapes, and this time I'm going to choose um, this, what's called ribbons. Tilt it up, and I'm going to draw that within here. Notice every sing single insert picture that you insert is going to be blue. So now what I'm going to do is, I'll keep the last one blue, but the, the second one in, you have this new tab, Shape Format, and Shape Fill. So you can pick any color you'd like. Then the next one, and pick a different color. You can also go to More Colors. And then the next one. This is before and this is new. And then one more. And then within the shape, as soon as you start, um, as, as, it, as it's selected, you can start typing. So I'm going to type. Then I'll press the space bar, remember STCC, and there it is. And I'm just going to change the font instead of um, white. Maybe make it bold. So when you're in the shape, you get these little yellow circles. And they're adjustment handles, so if you hover and click, you can change the angle of it. And the same thing with this one, you may make it thinner or wider. So you have those adjustment handles. This is to rotate left or right. And you have the same thing for all of them. So if you want to change the thickness of it or make it the other way, thinner, whatever you'd like to do, you can leave them as they are. So right now, if I were to move this picture uh, and I clicked it, I'd only be moving the pink. So I want to group them all together. So I'll click one doesn't matter where you start and then I'll hold shift and click click each of the others so there should be a total of one two three four five and then in the shape format tab I will choose um, this is called um, the top one group and then choose group so now it's one item move it anywhere you'd like if you, for some reason, needed to change something, you could go back here and ungroup. So we'll keep it grouped. So on this one, you can do another one if you'd like. Uh, I just This is just to experiment and, and explore all of the shapes and what you can do within the shapes, um, overlapping them, um, putting them together. So I'll, I'll do another one. So I'll insert some stars, so um, shapes. And I'm going to go to the five point star and I'm going to make this one. And I'm going to change it because right now they're tough to, sometimes they're hard to move, but make sure they're set for, um, right now it's set for in front of text, which is fine. So I'll just keep it that. So I want to make more of these. So I can do copy and paste or I can hold control and just drag to another one. Let go, control and drag. And then you can change in the shape fill the colors. And then keep them um, whatever colors you want. And then you can overlap them. You can tilt them. You can make them thinner or wider. 
If you wanted the, so I'll move the yellow one first. If you wanted the red to be in the front, select it and choose bring to front. You can move that back further in and you can, so again, there are three separate pieces. Maybe I'll make this one a little thinner. So you can do whatever you'd like. Now to, to make them as one group, select one, use shift, click the red one, the blue one, and group, shape, um, shape format, group, and now it's one. So that's a save and submit. Thank you.